I am Shannon, your host, along with my daughter, Taylor. And Shannon Confidential is a podcast about life, love, and everything in between. We talk about, you know, how we're all the same, no matter what religion you are, sex you are, race you are, age, income, it doesn't matter. We all deal with so much in this world. And the one thing we don't realize is we all deal with the same stuff. Ups and downs, families, weight issues, I've heard you in a cooking segment, Whatever it is in life, you're not alone. We are all together. We are all one. And today on Shannon Confidential, we are doing our very first cooking segment. We are so excited. Yay. And Taylor, she is, if you follow her on Instagram, it's Taylor Cooking Her Best. Taylor's Cooking Her Best. Taylor's Cooking Her Best. And she has so many amazing recipes. So we thought we would kick off the fall season with an awesome recipe that she does that is perfect for when it starts to get chilly outside and if you live in Florida, when you turn your AC down. <laughs> okay, so Taylor, explain to everybody what you're so, making and what you're doing, and I'm just gonna step on some wine. <laughs> so this is a red wine braised short rib. Um, it's gonna be more in the stew family. Um, this is gonna be super slow cooked. The longer it cooks, the better. It's so easy, it's easy to follow along with. It's fun, we're gonna use different alcohols. It's not just for us, like in the recipe. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be in and then in there and it's gonna be everywhere. Um, it, it's, it's just, it's not that many ingredients. It's just, it's so good. Like this, these, these short ribs are gonna fall off the bone. You're gonna be able to crumble Literally, it in see. your hands. You can cut it with a fork. It's phenomenal. So this is definitely probably one of my favorite recipes that I have. And we'll go through telling you the ingredients, how much, how to cut it, and all that stuff. So since we're starting with the short ribs, about how many pounds would you say so, for this recipe? Um, so this is about this is about like three pounds right here. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. About and it serves how many pounds. people? So I would serve this to a family of four. You know, okay. this is two packets of uh, short, short ribs I got from Whole Foods. Okay. Um, and then you put now them me, I ate a majority of it last night because I had to make one that was already prepped for today, mm -hmm. and I kind of indulged and I kind of uh, ate more than half of it. So I mean, it's all depends on how big your stomach is. <laughs> but, all right. So you get about how many pounds did you say? So you could do up to six pounds, you know, just to how big your 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 pot's gonna be. And we'll post we'll post the ingredients and how to cut it. So right. I would imagine this. So you put them on a cookie sheet. Right. So right now I just put on them on a cookie sheet. I just brush them with olive oil. Now I'm going to do a generous amount of salt. You really want this seasoned because you're not gonna add too much seasoning and salt um, afterwards. You're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper while it's cooking, but most of the seasoning is going to come from the uh, short ribs and then the juices that come good. off the short ribs. It's just going to all cook together and it's going to be delicious. And this is one of those recipes if you want your family to come home and be so excited. Smells the delicious. whole house oh smells God. just like comfort. I it's have, amazing. I have um, like the apple cinnamon plugins in my house and on top of this it had like the time and just you know the red wine that we're gonna cook it with and it and just it smelled like so there good. should be snow on the ground yeah outside. and yeah. beautiful fall leaves from I was the palms. very disappointed when I walked out and it was 90 <laughs> degrees that's for sure now do you have to preheat your oven yep we preheat it to 425 okay um so that should be done right now now I'm just gonna add some pepper and this gets cooked center of the oven yep you can put bake. it yep you just okay. bake at 425 for 20 know. minutes 425 20 for minutes. 20 minutes so we are going to season this we're going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes and then we're going to get started while that's cooking we're going to get started with our broth and chopping veggies so it's it's a process there's a lot of taking it in the oven and taking it out of the oven and putting it back in the stew taking it out of the stew but it's all worth it and it's not as complicated as it's going to seem I promise so. This looks delicious. All right, we are ready to go to the oven. Yeah. All right, it is time for the veggie dice up slice up section. And I will let Taylor tell you what it is that you need to have, how much to have it, and how to cut it. Taylor, you're on deck. So right now we are cutting carrots. I'm cutting a whole bunch at the same time because I am lazy. 
Um, and, and I'm a little nervous with all the fingers. She's going through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carrots. I can't watch. We're good. All right, how many how many carrots do you need for this recipe? So um, you're gonna do about three cups of carrots. You're gonna do about three cups of celery and about two cups of leeks. And so about... if this is three cups, I would say you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full size carrots here. Yes. And then you're gonna have a yellow sweet onion just because they're sweet and they're cute. And you're going to just use one whole onion of that. And so a whole onion, mm -hmm. about seven carrots, or the equivalent of three cups. Yep. Right? I mean, it's really just up to you how much you want your stew to be more hearty. Um, if you want it more liquid-based and more just focus on the meats, I mean, it's just better with more Make carrots. Than my but this is the way we're making ours. Yeah. Okay. And I see celery there. You said how much celery? Three cups um, also? Yep. So we're going to do three cups of celery. So three about cups a full of carrots, celery stock. One full... cup of leeks. I like lots of veggies. Yeah. And yeah. one cup of leeks. And okay. One... And they're all just sliced the same way? Yep. So with a leek, when you first buy it, it's going to have like this like gross green brown mm -hmm. top. Just cut that off. You don't need it. Here's Not that there's this. anything wrong with that. <laughs> You're just going to use like the heart of a leek. Um, Almost looks like hearts of palm. Yeah. Yeah. No. So they're really, really weapon. good. Yeah, right? They're kind of... Might yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Or it feels a little different. So we are almost done with the carrots. Okay, I now have a full understanding of why Matthew cringes when I cut things up. It's like... I'm waiting for... for I'm waiting. You ever... The, the episode of Trust Saturday Night Live with... Uh, what was that? Um, That chef, Julie... Julie... Julian... Oh God, who am I thinking of? And she cuts herself. Julia and she's Child. Julia Child. She's like, oh, oh the blood is going everywhere. Yeah. Oh my God, look it up. Saturday Night Live, Julia Child. She slices her fingers in, and there's blood everywhere. It's old classic Saturday Night Live. That is totally me. <laughs> and yes, I have sliced my finger making lasagna that required me to go to the ER to get a lot that. of stitches in my thumb. I, I don't know, the knife looked weird. I thought one side was the regular side and the sharp side was the cutting side. Well, I had it flipped and I went to press down to cut some uh, mozzarella and mozzarella. Whoosh, right through my finger. Yeah. Get so... quick fish lasagna that night. Anyway, back to cooking and food oh, and eating. Yeah, no. So, yeah, right? What you're going to do with all of these vegetables once that they're cooked, you're going to generously coat the bottom of your little so you need a dutch oven is what yes. you need okay a dutch, so a dutch oven. oven and if you don't know what a dutch oven is it's basically a sauce <laughs> pot that's incredibly heavy it's like it's like a small human being and it can go into the oven you can do all you know but it's great for stews <laughs> it's the only way i remember them so okay. it's hilarious so a generous amount of leeks up to you how much you want they're delicious Honestly, I want a nice, strong, maybe six or seven servings. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more. Look, oh, so boy. what you do is when you cut, is you put your fingertips down, so you're not cutting your finger, their back. Well, so you're why do I have a funny feeling someone's gonna email us and offer us cutting knife <laughs> skills courses? So you're just gonna have it on your knuckles and it's just gonna go like this on your knuckles. So I have like a whole bunch. So you can cut in all different ways. I, I literally cut in all different ways. So sometimes I cut like this and there's sometimes where it's thin enough that I just have like this, that I cut like this. So it's just really up to you. Whatever feels comfortable. It's no one, no one gives a crap, I promise. One thing I did notice is you did not peel your carrots. Don't peel them. You don't need to. We're going raw. You don't need to. Totally raw. We're on to the onion, so it's one full yellow onion. Yes, and if you want a little cheat sheet, you can do the onions like this. You can take a hair comb if you wanted to and put it in the back, and then that's easier to hold it. I just Preferably kinda, not one that was in your hair. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> but you just kind of cut it like this. This is how I do it. And then voila, diced. Down. Or slivers, oh, it's slivers. If you went the same direct, the opposite direction this way and then went down, you would have diced. But since she went long ways and is going down, the onion is long. So if you kind of do a checkerboard, like you slice the onion this oh, way, yeah, slice the onion that way, and then chop it down, 
you get diced. It's the same thing for a tomato this or anything so you need diced. My you eyes. Can do that. I know. It's okay. Don't, don't get emotional. I'm very sensitive. So we are at the final stages just before we're going into our Dutch oven. So, so now, oh my God, the onions. <laughs> so we have our carrots, our leeks, our celery, and our onion all ready to go into the Dutch oven. So let's head over. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to generously coat the bottom of this a good amount. And try to add the leaves a little bit more towards the end. Mm -hmm. Try and add the leaves a little bit more towards the end. So it's cook faster? Um, I mean, it's really, I mean, you can throw it in all together if you wanted to, but the leaves just, I, I would say they're softer. They're just a little bit more fragile. So. Okay, now so now we're stirring up the veggies. Yeah, so you're gonna want these to cook for about 20 minutes um, okay. until the until they're soft. So, Translucent. Yes. You just want to soften these up, stir, make sure they're all covered in oil. So now that everything has been a little bit more softened. Smelling delicious. We are going to add the leaves. I wish I had smell-o-vision. It's so good. It smells amazing. This is really good. And then once we add the garlic and the rest of the stuff, it's really just going to take over. It's going to be freaking delicious. So now we are going to rinse the garlic. So now we are going to add our minced garlic. Ooh. And we're gonna let this cook not really too long. Um, we just wanna cook it for like a minute, just until you can smell the garlic. Um, we don't wanna burn it. And then once we do that, we're just gonna stir it around. And then, So good. Mm. So now we're getting that together. We're just going to saute it a little bit just so that garlic flavor gets in there. And then we're going to add a whole bottle of red wine. All right, now that that garlic is nice and sauteed and we can smell it, we're going to use a Merlot wine. So a Merlot compared to a Malbec is more dry. A Malbec is more on like the medium scale of sweetness. They're both dry wines, but in this instance, you do not want, um, you don't want any sweetness to this. So this is a whole bottle? A whole bottle. Now, how do you reduce that? Yes. Because that's, okay. Head so down. all the alcohol is gonna be reduced. So you're not gonna taste the alcohol. It's really just gonna complement the flavors. And when you put, the short ribs back in there and it's gonna braise it and it's just delicious and we're gonna mix it with another secret ingredient in just a little bit but you're gonna to want to put this on a little bit of a higher heat not high never cook on high we want to do just above medium and we're gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes and let the reduction happen in the process so all of the smoke and the bubbles that's all gonna be the coming out. So you won't get drunk off of this, unfortunately. So we're gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back and be back. So now um, you'll be able to see once you are reducing the wine for about 10 minutes, it started up here and it's reduced all the way down to about halfway. So the alcohol is mostly reduced, reduced by half. out, but this is gonna cook for a little bit longer so it's okay if it's not fully reduced. Right now we're gonna add four cups of beef stock. So, Does that have to be low sodium, no sodium, and any beef stock you want? Any beef stock you want. If you want to make your own, that is obviously 10 times better. Fancy. But we did not have time to make our own, so we're having nice whole foods beef stock. Um, the reason why we do a red wine with something like a short rib or any kind of beef in general is because 
it does a nice job at tenderizing the outside of it Ooh, nice. while also keeping it very, very moist on the inside. And Education. It, the notes and everything just complements it very well. So, the four yeah, cups yeah. of beef stock. We're going to let this cook a little bit longer and we will be back. Okay, so now we are going to <laughs> add, it's going to be about a half can of crushed red tomatoes. Um, a cup, two cups, I mean really, it, you can have fun, it's cooking, it's not baking. They'll make it your own. Yes, yeah, so I took a large can of crushed red tomatoes and I just put half in here. So that's what that is. And now, the fun part. We're going to add a secret oh. ingredient that really complements the red wine so well is a stout beer. Um, I don't know what it is about it, but for some reason, a, a red wine, a dry red wine and a stout beer just goes so well together, especially if you're cooking beef. Um, so we're gonna add this, and once again, that alcohol is gonna reduce, and it's gonna boil down, it's gonna be really, really good. So the hops, the notes, everything like that, it complements it so well, so we're just gonna add a whole Guinness. Guinness is the best beer stout to cook with, in my opinion, and it's just, I'm Irish, it just, it, it feels right to do it. So that's a whole bottle of Merlot and a whole bottle of Guinness. And this is for me. <laughs> that's my and once we do that, tie a good amount of time together, use like a little tie, because mm. we're just gonna throw it in there, and then once we wanna take the, um, the twiggies, once we wanna take the little twiggies out, it's all gonna be bunched together and it's gonna be really easy. So just toss that in there, stir it around, and we're going to come back in a little bit once that's more reduced. So now, just after a few minutes of letting that beer and wine here and wine, we are now going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Um, just eyeball it. That's what I do. I just kind of so it's like a it's an aggressive pinch yes. or two. Yes, I watched Gordon Ramsay do just a pinch of salt and it was, it, it looked like two full tablespoons. So. I know, I see that too. <laughs> so now we're just gonna add some pepper. We got, ooh, I can smell the thyme. It smells amazing. So good. And now, the fun part. So after 20 minutes, you're gonna take these short ribs out of the oven and they're gonna have a nice little tenderness on the outside, but they're super raw on the inside still. So now we're going to add them to our stew. So these were cooling slightly off to the side while we were chopping mm -hmm. our veggies. Yep. Just put them to the side. doesn't matter if they cool down. You don't need them hot. This is a few hour process. We're going to take it in the oven, out of the oven. So they do not need to be hot right now. What matters is just making sure the uh, they're not overdone and they're not underdone. So you see like all like the foam on the top, that's all reducing and the fat's coming to the top and all this flavor in here, it's in the beef stock, it's really just gonna be so good. And this is why you need the Dutch oven that mm -hmm. you will see all of this, once you add the short ribs, it really brings all of the liquid to the top. So you need a nice deep pan. So once you take the short ribs out, you're gonna turn the oven down to 325 from 425. And once that is ready and you've added your shorbs back to the stew and everything's been a little bit more reduced, you're going to add it with the lid on for an hour. Ding, super heavy, be careful. Wow, there we go. So now that's been cooked for an hour, we're going to take the lid off and we're going to let it cook for another hour. Now, after it has cooked for two hours in the oven, we are going to bring it back to the stove. We're gonna turn it on about medium heat. We're gonna take our short ribs back out because we're gonna let the uh, sa uh, sauce stew, whatever you wanna call it, simmer for about another 20 minutes. And then once we're done with that, and the sauce is simmered, we're gonna add, oops, we're gonna add the short ribs back in for like two seconds just so they can heat up. And then you're ready to serve and enjoy. Can't wait. So now we are ready to go. Cheers. Cheers. To fall festivities and fall recipes. Enjoy, everyone. Enjoy. Thank you. And it's best with a French baguette and some mashed potatoes, just saying. <laughs>
thank you.